Hello folks, today I want to share something with you that happened to me the other day. Now, I have to warn you first. Now, I do apologize for the foul language you are about to hear. Um, unfortunately, there isn't any other way I can tell the story without using the language. So, please, I do apologize for that. Secondly, if you have children running around in the background while you're playing this video, I strongly suggest that you watch this video later when the kids go to bed. Okay, so this is this is not the sort of video to have children running around in the background. Don't worry, I'm not going to say anything sexually explicit, um, but there will be some swearing coming up. Okay, so I do apologize for that. Anyway, less of the waffling, let's get on with the story. I had to uh, deliver an envelope through someone's door as a favor to somebody. So, I'm there driving down the road, and I'm listening to my, my funky beats, you know, my little funky, soulful house. And, you know, I'm nodding my head, enjoying myself, driving along. And a friend of mine, they live opposite a bus stop. Well, adjacent to a bus stop. So I pulled into the bus stop. Well, just past the bus stop. And there's a group of people in the bus stop, obviously waiting for a bus. Okay. So I left my engine running, left the music playing playing. So I opened the door and it's, you could have got a picture of me coming out the car. So I looked to my left, see if there's an oncoming traffic. Look to my to my right, still no traffic coming. So there's my opportunity to, to run across and quickly drop this envelope in my friend's door. So while I was doing that, I, I caught I caught um, someone looking at me out of the people waiting in the bus stop. And there was a woman who of East European appearance. And I noticed when I quickly glimpsed over at the people in the, in the bus stop, she's looking at me with a frown on her face. Just like, looking at her. So while I'm running across the road, I'm thinking about this woman who's looking at me with a frown on her face. And I could see she has that East European look about her. So I'm thinking, hold a minute. You've come from either Lithuania or Poland or wherever you've come from, right? And you're giving me a dirty look. I was born in this country. You're immigrant to my country, and you're giving me a dirty look. I thought, girl, fuck you. Fuck you and your Hitler. Go back to, to East, Europe here, East Europe, where there's only white people, right? And go back to your swastikas and your neo-Nazi Hitler, Hitler lovers. Go, go, fuck you, fuck off, fuck off back to East Europe, you racist cunt, right? So, so I'm thinking that, like, you know, and so, um, so, so I go back to, to the car, I quickly look over again, and she's still looking at me with this frown on her face. I'm thinking, you know, you know, you come to London, you, you come in my manner, you know, anyway, so I jump to the car, as I'm putting my seatbelt on, I looked over at in my mirror, the passenger side. I know she's walking over towards the car. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I think it is going to be interesting. I thought, anyhow, you tell me to turn my music down. I'm going to give you such a mouthful because, you know, I don't class myself as a ghetto person. But believe me, what ghetto traits or ghetto ways I know of, they were going to come out then. As the Americans say, she was going to get some real nigger treatment, you know. So, I thought, okay, let's hear what she's going to say. So she reaches down for the passenger door. Um, I'm getting myself ready. I'm getting myself ready for, to unleash some real South London ignorance. I'm from West London, but South London, I do apologise, but, you know, you know it's this. It. Anyway, look, it's another story for another time. So I was going to give her some real South London nigger treatment, you know. So... She opens the door and she says to me, excuse me, uh, in an East European accent, excuse me, uh, you go to train station, my bus no come and I, I, I need to be in Ealing um, by one o'clock and bus no fucking come in. I need to, can you give me a lift to the train station? How wrong was I? <laughs> she was giving me a frown. Now, I had my, my work 
clothes on me from my high vis vest and everything. She was looking at me to see if working out, am I am I safe enough to to jump to the stranger's car two bus stops away to the train station. That was that is what the frown was about. She was thinking, I need to get to Ealing and Greenford tube station's only two stops two bus stops away. Can I trust this guy to get in his car for a lift? That's what that's what the frown was. She was she was working it out in her head. I tell you what, at that moment, I felt so ashamed of myself. I felt I felt really terrible that I thought all those horrible things of her. And uh, so, on that note, I want to make an apology. To I want to make an apology for the nice East European people who one are not racist, who have no problem in living in, in, a, in a city like London that's got a diversity of people living here. They say London is the world in one city, similar to like New York City. Uh, only difference is we mix more. We, have le- we, we don't have segregated neighborhoods as they do in New York City. So New York City, we're ahead of you there because we mix more than you do. Anyway, so um, I'd like to apologize to all East Europeans uh, who are not racist and have no problem living in a place like London. That, you know, I'm sorry for thinking those horrible things. I shouldn't have thought those things. There are terrible things to say. And um, everyone is innocent until they prove themselves guilty. So once again, please accept my humble apologies. And I shall never do that again. I shall give everyone a chance first until they prove themselves an arsehole. And as for the East Europeans who are racist, fuck you go back to your white East European where there's, well, I shouldn't even say that. Um, but I don't know how it is in East Europe, but but um, the ones who are racist, fuck you. You know, you 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 come to London where there's full of, full of people, diversity, you don't like it here, go back, right? So for your nice East Europeans, again, I apologize to you, okay? I'm sorry, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Okay, bye, thanks. <laughs>